Let me show you how you can customize the in-game HUD of Arsetto Corsa Competizione with some top secret settings, like for example the virtual mirror that you won't find in the in-game options menu. Welcome to Bunatix, the community for sim racing beginners and enthusiasts alike. This is the first video in the new year, so happy new year to you. I hope we are in for a much better year with, you know, much more positive news. So let's all just stay positive in our head and enjoy some more sim racing content on my channel. If you haven't done so far, please consider just subscribing that you won't miss any of the future updates because this year has some really cool stuff in store. And I'm starting it up with like um, a bit of a smaller addition to my Real Beginner Guide series. Today we are taking a look uh, at the HUD that you can adjust for your preferences in Assetto Corsa Competizione. And um, there is an in-game options menu like I showed in uh, part one of the Beginner Guide, but there are some secret settings that are not shown in the in-game options and that will help you to customize the HUD even more to your liking and completely change the feel of uh, the game. So let's just take, uh, you know, again a look at the HUD options and you find that if you just start up the game, head into the options and then click on the bottom right corner for HUD. And there you see a huge list that we already compared in uh, the Real Beginner's Guide uh, Part 1. Now you can set a lot of different things here and depending on if you changed anything or not it might look even different from what you can see here for myself because I already scaled down the HUD to be a bit smaller and increase the margins on the left and right side you know to adapt it a bit more for my stream and you can change even more cooler things here for example you could disable the lap time if you don't want to see what times you are doing if you just want to focus on practicing a track or something you can deactivate the circuit map you can um, deactivate the tires app so that you don't see like the temperatures and pressures of the tires session info radar and so much more but interesting thing is there is the config file for the hut and it has even more settings that you can change but uh, settings that are not showing up here. You will find the config file called hat.json in your uh, Seto Corsa Competizione installation path. So just head there in your explorer and then head to the folder called config. And in there you will see, uh, like I show you here, a lot of different config files and we want to open the hat.json. So let me just pull up the hut.json file right next to the options and at first glance you will already notice um, some differences like for example at the bottom you have a lot of lines to change the communication panel which are like you know important messages of the game like when you are saving a replay and stuff like that and um, the most interesting part for many people i think will be that you have three lines showing the virtual mirror now you can change there if you want to have the virtual mirror or not like you can do in the game enable or disable it meaning one is enabled zero is disabled but you have two more options that you don't have in the in-game settings which is the virtual mirror size and the virtual mirror vertical offset now from the standard position the virtual mirror is always on top of the screen but if you increase the vertical offset like i have done it here in the options to eight it will move the virtual mirror down more towards the middle of your screen and if you change the virtual mirror size which is usually looking something like that of 0 0.150000 and so on to like increase it to 0 0.25 or 0 0.30 it will make the virtual mirror bigger but you can also make it smaller so this is a really nice option to completely change the look of the virtual mirror and um, for an example like i did it here for my game where i just moved the virtual mirror down a little bit more to have it more in my field of view Another interesting point here is for example more on the top that you can activate FPS visible. It's usually on zero but if you change it to one the game will show you in game on the right hand side more data about the FPS. As you can see on this screenshot I uh, tried you know uh, a few different settings to kind of just showcase you of 
how much you can really change and adapt the HUD for yourself. Uh, I activated the FPS, I deactivated times, I even deactivated the ratings and moved uh, and changed the virtual mirror really extreme so that you can just see what the possibilities are. Now one on other interesting point uh, for sure here is uh, when you're using triple screens. So it's very interesting then you can use left and right margin for example uh, if, if the HUD is like either on the wrong screen or it's pos positioned wrong in your center screen and just really um, depending on which side of or on which screen of your three screens it is you can just really drastically increase the left or right margin to some really high values for example like um, 1200 or even uh, 1400 and move the HUD from one screen to the other or um, you know just increase it a little bit to just adjust the positions and feel comfortable to have like the tires and uh, temperatures and speedometer and everything you want in your field of view and you can also play with the scale for example you can not only make it smaller you can also make it bigger as well so you can even uh, double the size of the hut scale in the config file now it's not possible here in the options in the game to go above 120 percent but in the config file for example you could blow it up by 200 or even 400 percent and just see how much more fun that looks and uh, for example if you have a really really big screen and um, are maybe sitting farther away from it this enables you you know really more options to play around with the in-game HUD. And that was basically it short and to the point uh, showing you some top secret uh, config settings feel free to play around in the HUD JSON file uh, with your own settings but beware always just you know before you start messing around just do a copy of the file and save it somewhere in a different uh, uh, folder of your uh, Windows Explorer or whatever you use just to make sure you know that you can always go back to the standard settings you had before um, yeah thank you so much for watching and again if you haven't done so far consider subscribing and if you enjoyed the information hit me with some thumbs up just you know that's you know the, the typical thing I, I have to ask for for a little bit support on uh, the YouTube algorithm to help me grow and you know expand the community. Thank you everyone for a really amazing year 2020. It has been an amazing journey for me. Um, the channel grew out of nothing to now over 2000 subscribers in a few months and uh, uh, it's amazing. I'm so happy. I thank every one of you out there who is just you know watching and enjoying uh, the video and the content and I'll see you soon on my next live stream with some pretty interesting races. Until then, take care, stay safe. I'll see you. Bye bye. Thank you.